Welcome back to another match here at the Overwatch League. Doa and Monty here to bring you San Francisco Shock versus Washington Justice. And this is a really, really important one for San Francisco. Let's take a look at the standings, though, first, before we kind of really get into it. Checking out the stage one standings. Obviously, Washington kind of languishing down towards the bottom a bit. They are third right now. Oh, and three in their matches. Third from the bottom. <laughs> third from the bottom. Yeah, right. <laughs> so this is interesting. Like the NYXL still going to be on top right now, and of course the or the Vancouver Titans will be trailing them both undefeated. But Justice, sure. really important that they start getting some wins, and Shock also just barely on that cutoff of the stage playoffs. Well, and as we look at that too, here's their schedule. Of course, like they kind of need to have this winded against Justice. Like a lot of people on paper would say. That's an easy one. But when you think about it, going towards in the stage, they're going to need this one. And then they're also going to probably need a win over either New York or Paris to make the playoffs. I guess if you're a Shock fan, though, you're encouraged by the fact that Paris looked a lot weaker today. Sure enough. And I think you might be encouraged by the fact that the Excelsior have had a very weak schedule. Yes, you know, their most impressive win, arguably against the Toronto Defiant. But sure. overall, the Excel haven't had the strongest opponents that they've been going against. So those might both be winnable matches, but you need to get to that four win uh, position to even, I think, feasibly get into the stage Seems playoff. Way, yeah. There are obviously certain scenarios where that's not true, but that's a much safer number and it's a much safer place to be. So that's where they want to go. And that means picking up a win here and then either against Paris, NYXL or both. That's right. So a team that needs a big win today. Let's give it up for our NorCal representatives. It's going to be the San Francisco Shock. Taking the field, and like we already talked about, the big theme for the day is going to be able to get that go-ahead win to give themselves a chance to possibly make that stage playoffs. Yeah, we are going to see Rascal starting here, which he has on some of these controlled maps in the past, but the big surprise of their last match against the Hangzhou Spark was that Rascal uh, came in and played Brigitte on the last three maps of the series. Right. And statistically, he was very similar, actually, to Architect. But I feel this takes away from the team because one of San Francisco's core strategies is flexing Architect between Brigitte and the Ana. And I'm not sure if they're going to be able to do that as effectively with Rascal. And we haven't seen any of Rascal's signature picks like the Farah come out yet. True enough. I'll have to keep an eye on it. Their opponents, of course. Let's hear it for the team that needs a win. Perhaps even more. It's a Washington Justice. And Washington Justice, a team, of course, that on paper, has some pretty big names. You've got Giannis on there. You've got Guido, of course, who is a former tournament finals MVP in Korean Overwatch. So you know these guys have the skill on their roster, but they just haven't found a way to quite unlock it yet. Yeah, that's true of the justice. And I guess one statistic that you can look at, as you can say that when they get the first elimination in a team fight. They're actually right in the middle of the league when it comes to winning in terms of team fight percentage. Sure. The issue is, is that they only get that first pickoff, you know, a very small, small percent of the time at 33.1%, wow. which is about 8.6% lower than the next team, which is the Los Angeles Gladiators. So, yeah. you know, when they can get that first elimination, things go about as well for them as any other team. And I think that's what they need to focus on is really just making sure they're dialing in and getting those first pickoffs in these fights. We'll see if they can do it. Obviously, this is a team with a lot of uh, struggles so far in stage one. They are 0-3, one of our two undefeated, or two ultimately completely defeated teams. <laughs> two oh, defeated. Two defeated teams, <laughs> along with uh, with Valiant. Which is, Valiant is obviously a, a pretty That's big surprise. That's the big shock. Yeah, I mean, I would not have expected that going into it. Uh, but shock, you know, need to take these guys seriously. At the same time, I think a lot of people are expecting this to, to be pretty one-sided. So. I've been proven wrong a couple times today already. I'm kind of hoping I will be again because it makes for good Overwatch, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Our Toyota map list coming at you. Let's see where these guys are going to play the game today. It's going to be on Nepal starting things off for control. Then Nimbani, Temple of Anubis, and finally Route 66 for our escort map at the end. Yeah, Rahai. Rahai. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are going to have to see this Nepal map first. This is a map that we could feasibly see architects 
or uh, excuse me, Rascal swapping onto the Farah, right. they do end up on Trine. So that's one of the reasons to run him is because you get the Brigida, but then you have Rascal's really good Farah too. Sombra play also, yeah. known as probably the original Sombra player. You go yeah. back to Apex in Korea. Man, he was the one who really kind of showed the potential of that hero right after she was released. Here we go, on board with Violet. A player for Shock finally came to come in in his first match last time. Now his second one, we'll see if he can keep up with the great stats he put up the first time around. As Shock kind of forced up, but ooh, they take Janice with him. Whip shot from Rascal off the edge of the map as now they push Washington back towards their spawn, and that's going to be an easy point they take, you'd imagine, for the Shock. Got some other justice facts for you, Doa. Yes. So they actually have the lowest win rate in the league when suffering the first elimination. They only win 5.2% of team fights if one of their players gets eliminated first, which is wow, extremely low. That's rough. Justice coming back in again. On the outside looking in of this point, Janice low health again. They do get super early on. Janice has to flee. Getting that healing. There's a Graviton coming in for Shock now. We'll see if they can equalize. They did manage to finish off Corey, and now Guido going in with the Transcendence. That seems a bit optimistic in that they've already lost that Zarya. They're not going to have the damage to win this fight, and I think that's definitely going to be a Zenyatta ultimate that Washington Justice wished they still had. Yeah, I mean, you could get in there and actually kill the tank, but if you're walking straight into the Graviton Surge from Sinatra yeah. with such a high level of Zarya charge, and the way the San Francisco Shock play is, Super is often sacrificed just to, to allow Sinatra to play forward. And it's interesting they're even playing Super, who Smurf is the one who usually plays for them on the control maps. That's a good point. Kind of surprising to see Super in there. Washington has some ultimates. They use a rally to try to push forward here. Shock on the retreat, but they're still gaining that control percentage. Now the grab comes in from Washington. Where's the follow-up? self to Sarks come in. Whoa! Primal Rage all over the place. Janice getting a couple big kills. Super responding, though. And Shock trying to turn this one around. In the end, though, it seems like Justice will have just a few more people on the point. They're going to flip it, but they've given up nearly 80% to get this far. That was a great Primal Rage coming in from the Washington Justice and Giannis. So able yeah. to set up the kills necessary after capturing the members of the Shock in the Graviton Surge. However, the battle back, and they can't lose any more engagements if they want to win this point. Giannis, of course, coming over from the NYXL during the offseason. As the main tank for Justice now, Super on the point. He's going to dive in as the rest of the team comes in for the pincer. They've got that sound barrier to prop them up. Washington Justice, though, pop a couple sport ultimates as well. They've still got Fozzix's sound barrier. Whoa, and there goes Otto falling to his doom. Sinatra down. Now the sound barrier comes in from Justice. But without Corey, can they really finish this one off? San Francisco doesn't think that, so. If they charge onto the point, and it's going to be another quick retake for the shock. Janus popping that Primal Rage, just trying to delay as long as he possibly can. Ooh, he does get the knockoff onto Rascal, takes him with him, but it is going to be the retake for Shock. And now the question is, you know, can they even get back to the point? Super might use that Primal Rage pretty proactively here to keep them off while they wait for Giannis to respawn. Seems logical, yeah. You, you want to just try to lock them up at the door for as long as you can. All right, Brigitte Taxi back from the spawn for Rascal, helped out there by Moth. Here we go. Trying to hold the door, are the Washington, or the Shock, rather. Super pops that Primal Rage now. Justice has the armor. Super looking for targets. Bouncing around Brigida. there goes Otto eventually. Justice down one player. Really tough to come back from that, especially Choya Bin. Low health, they're trying to finish him. They just can't seem to pop him out of that Diva mech, though. Ooh, Violet does go down, though. So an opportunity for Justice on equal footing, perhaps numbers-wise, to come back, but the sound barrier may change that despite the self-destruct coming in. It's gonna get Sinatra and Justice trying to turn this one around again. Janice Low Health, though, has to pop that Primal Rage to stay alive. Guido finishes off Super. They do flip it at the last moment. That's gonna be the rest of Shock taking a dive, and Justice have bought themselves another opportunity. Yeah, pretty clever positioning, though, from Corey. So he actually threw in the Graviton Surge after Sansam had already used the self-destruct. Yeah. So they had to come onto the point in order to contest it. He was on the opposite side of the point on that pit, firing the Graviton Surge over. Ended up being a pretty good combo for them in the end. Couple support ultimates now for Justice as they get ready to weather the storm from Shock coming in. Violet popping his Transcendence first here. Oh, that was so close! Nearly got knocked off. I can't believe he stayed on. 
they do kind of scare Shock away a little bit. Justice getting aggressive now, dropping that Graviton Surge. No kills out of it, though. Now Shock, their ultimate starting to come online here. It's going to be the final support ultimate sound barrier for Justice, though. Trying to stay alive. He finally knocks Guido off the edge. And Super coming back to the point now. 1v1 versus Corey getting roasted. He does have the shield, though. And now the Graviton Surge from Shock helping out just a little bit. They're back on the point. Self-destruct, nothing. It does get rid of Sinatra's shield, though, but Shock with a pretty powerful looking unit there. Now, ooh, Violet gets in there with the Transcendence. They do layer the support ultimates, but they need it against that Graviton Surge. They get the point flip, keeping Washington just out of range. Justice coming back in again, but they don't have a lot of people to do it with. And there goes Yanis. Otto in a lot of trouble here, and it's only a matter of time before Shock take point A here on Nepal. And you know, control has been an issue for the San Francisco Shock, and a lot of that, I think, has been the changing out of the main tank. Super coming in for the Shock, I think, is a great sign for San Francisco. They look so much better when he's playing. I think it's just the teamwork and the coordination, and it's especially important that Sinatra is on the same page as his main tank because of how aggressively he positions himself and how much protection he needs in order to deal the phenomenal amount of damage that he does as part of this roster. Yeah, gotta give a little bit of credit to Violet too, save, swooping in at the end with that transcendence, saving the day a couple times. Obviously Shock pretty happy that they finally got him. What? Able to play on the roster. Moving on to Shrine for our second round here on Nepal. It's going to be Justice trying to tie things up. Looks like it's going to be the Reinhardt 3 3 now for both teams. Moth looking to get behind the tanks. Trying to get that boop onto Giannis. Decides to just push it back in general right now. They're going to try to play the defender here as Justice loops around the side. Uh, let's see. All right. Yeah, Moth just keeping people out for the moment. He's playing defense on yeah. the choke point right now. So he's, he's actually forced the Justice to repeatedly walk through Whoa. the choke. And that's Chip there. Oh, what a charge. Corey finishes off Sinatra after he got caught by the Reinhardt. Yana setting up a big one for Justice. And now Shock sent running. And it's actually going to be Justice with a chance to flip this one back really fast here. A yeah, very nice charge from Giannis, picking off Sinatra absolutely the way that you want to play against the San Francisco Shock. I saw him charge by the door, and I'm like, why is he going that way? But it turns out that's where Sinatra decided to be. I don't know, a little bit uh, out of position there on the other side of that wall. That was a brave move to try to flank them, but he paid for it. You, you look at the way the Vancouver Titans beat San Francisco, and it was oftentimes reacting quickly to Sinatra being in a vulnerable position. Yeah, I mean, he will go for those kind of hero plays once in a while, but it's risky too, right? Corey fully charged up, burning through that Reinhardt shield so fast now he's got the grab solo grab on sinatra up top they know if they kill him Worth it. that's 90 percent of the fight right there yeah no kidding that's one of those times where the solo grab is absolutely worth and, and that's what happens sometimes with the shock sinatra will be alone on the high ground yep. you can isolate Bye. him farewell says fazix joy yobin you can isolate him. It's totally worth getting that solo grab because you completely neutralize San Francisco Shock's ability to continue fighting that team fight. Yeah, we've known it for a while, but we can prove with numbers now that if your Zarya goes down first, you have a very, very small chance of winning that fight. Teams know this. They're always going to try to target either the Zarya or the Reinhardt early on. Justice with a lot of ultimates, but San Francisco very close to six themselves. They're going to start things off with the rally on both sides. Earth Shatter comes in, knocks a few people from Justice down. Sansom, especially, taking a bit of a breather there as he recovers from the Reinhardt ultimate. Now Sinatra drops that Graviton Surge. A lot of members of Justice caught into that. Sound Barrier helps him. Ooh, I was going to say helps him avoid the self-destruct, but Yana's not so lucky. Now the grab comes in from Washington, trying to equalize. But the shield turned just in time. <laughs> That was about as close as you can cut it. That was a nice tortoise formation there from no kidding. Super to block most of that damage. Call that the phalanx, man. Shields up indeed. Wrong team, but hey, the philosophy works out. But Washington able to weather the storm, coming back, winning the fight. They've got a chance to tie up this map here. 98-99, we're into OT. It's Shoya Ben, the mini diva, still on the point right now. There he goes. Can anyone get back there? Yeah, they can. Looks like Moth can. All right. They got to be aggressive here. Oh, and what? What? Are you kidding me, Moth? Just sat on the point and flipped it. You cannot let that happen, Washington. Oh, boy. They got to win this fight now. They need to win it. Corey gets two kills. Can they flip it back? All right. That was a heart attack moment for Washington Justice. 
is. Oh boy, all right. If they can clean out the respawns, Super coming in on the Hammond, you know it's desperate then, unless you're watching the Chengdu Hunters. When that Hammond shows up, you know they're on your, their last legs for sure. Shock on the outside looking in, Choyubin finally does get demeked. Washington really having to fight hard to finally claim this point. Moth kind of buying a lot of time for Shock here. Washington hasn't quite been able to do it yet, but there we go. Now the kill's coming in again for Justice. Seems like a foregone conclusion. You never really know, but... You kind of right. do. This in is going end. a long time. I mean, you, you feel like you do, right? There we go. Okay. Finally, man, that was a crazy long fight at the end of that one, but very extended. I mean, if you are Washington, you know you kind of got away with one there. You should have never given the point over to Moth in the end. You always had an advantage, so pushing out wasn't the end of the world. Yeah, the back cap is a Can't. little bit embarrassing, but yeah. they were still able to clean it up. You, you see Corey right there, he's like, yeah, you know you can't let them do that. Well, you know, for the Justice, the control has been their best map type, for sure. So. I mean, they're holding their own here against the San Francisco Shock, tying it up one-to-one. -one. And we will go all the way, going the distance onto Village, where both teams will be playing Reinhardt 3-3. True enough. Final round on Nepal. Going to go to Village here. And it's going to be the Reinhardt 3-3 yet again. As we get started, Washington going to take the high road. Both teams starting things off on the high ground. And oh, Mazik oh, nearly Mazik. dies to a stun. That was a pretty aggressive move by him, but enough damage done to San Francisco that they're able to push him back. They do finish super off. There goes Violet. So Just Justice winning the first fight there. Yeah, Fozzix escaping actually gave them enough time because they had to really heal up the San Francisco Shock supports who were going for that elimination. And that opened up an opportunity for them to actually just break down super because there was uh, a... Rascal was leaving the fight, right? And he has sure. most of that healing. There was With the a lot of damage. aura. A lot of damage on everybody on the shock side. Oh, there goes Moth. All right. Swatted. Justice was served. Good start for Washington. I don't know if San Francisco needs to continue trying to go through it seems like this doorway. And they're not. They're going to call it audible and go through the main choke instead. Why not rota rotate around? Oh, nice stun! Janus knocked out of his ult animation. That's an Earth Shadow that's never gonna land. Shock moving back in now. But Corey's so close. He's got the grab now. They have to keep Janus alive. You can tell. Sherryman decided to try to go for that kill. But the heals came in on the Reinhardt just in time here. Grab now for Shock. Another grab in response for Washington. It's a mosh pit. There goes Guido, though. Shock with an early edge. Janus and Otto fall as well. And so Shock able to come out on top of the brawl in the end, and they will flip the point. Yeah, big team kill too for the San Francisco Shock. They come out of it with the self-destruct and the Earth Shatter. Just as though maintaining a couple of support alts, so they should be feeling pretty good about this next push. They'll be doing just fine here if they can rally in and they can counter any potential crowd control by using their sound barrier. Uh, Super just tried to run past him. I thought he might go for the aggressive Earth Shatter there, but no, gets stunned. Shield Bash comes in. He has to retreat to the point. There's the ultimate, trying to pair that with the Shatter. Whoa, there we go. Sansa gets two, and Justice just insta-giving San Francisco shock. That's going to be a point retake. I, I mean, I like the way they're playing. They're basically putting a ton of pressure onto Super. You can see the Discord Orb onto the Reinhardt. And because they have to keep walking backwards, San Francisco Shock never really gets a chance to heal Super up because Rascal's not in there able to deal with the Inspire. That was a good sure. call from the Justice. To so go in right on the rally, they save Fozzix's sound barrier. And now they've put themselves maybe one team fight win away from taking this map. Very close. If they can defend against Shock here, Probably gonna get it. Backing off now. Gotta get back in there. There we go, rallies. Now, sound barrier for Justice. Sinatra throws out the Graviton Surge. It's gonna be Justice trying to weather the storm with that sound barrier. There's a double kill for Choyo Bin. He's gonna D-Max Sansom as well. And it looks like Shock 
is going to flip it right back again. It's been such a back and forth map. Another team kill thanks to Super dropping the hammer when the self-destruct comes in at the end of the Graviton Surge. Pretty high investment, but San Francisco Shock was never threatened enough to use the Transcendence or the Sound Barrier. So they have plenty of tools to deal with the Justice's uh, Graviton Surge here and potential Earth Shatter as well. Justices. Justices. Justice. I mean, Justice is the plural. I don't know. <laughs> Corey, another grab. Ready to go. Again, trying to pressure Super just a little bit. Oh. Nice shield bash. Oh, that set up the kill on Giannis. Got a little bit too far forward there. And During the shatter animation, too. So. Right, it's about as rough as it gets. I mean, he kind of telegraphed that Earth Shatter pretty hard. And Justice going to get maybe one more chance here. I mean, as now we're getting close to a San Francisco shock win on Nepal. I mean, the shock have three support ultimates to move through. Otto also used his rally. Yeah. This is going to be incredibly difficult for the Justice to win. Well, it's rough to see. They brought themselves really close to taking this map, but it's going to need to be a come from behind victory now. Corey still has that grab. If he can set up a really good one, maybe they can do it. They're going to have the Transcendence, too. So that is something going in. I mean, San Francisco just needs to rally onto this. That's exactly what they're doing, Monty. And they do have super pretty low, though. Oh, that grab got eaten. Corey loses it. Now they've got the self-destruct from Sound Sound. No kills out of that one. Great shatter from Super right after the grab ends. Corey with a kill to Choi Bin, though. So Justice trying to brawl this one out. Off having to back away, but it is going to be San Francisco Shock in the end taking Nepal. It was a close one. They got it. I mean, that ult economy was so bad from the Justice at the end, not due to their own doing, but just because they fell really far behind on the Shock. Very difficult yeah. to recap. All right. Well, Shock takes game one. We'll see if Washington can tie it up right after this. The Overwatch League is powered by Intel. Game, record, stream without compromise on Intel Core i7. And by Omen by HP, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League.
San Francisco shock coming away with a win on Nepal. Washington Justice, you know, they had the right idea once in a while. But the thing is, in this meta, with these compositions, it's really hard to recreate the same execution twice because you've got all these things, right? If like a couple extra shots get through on your Reinhardt, then it's like, oh, does he pull back in time? Then yeah, you save him, but you don't get to be aggressive like you wanted to. If he doesn't, then he's dead. And you're like, well, is our Zarya charged? If he is, yes, maybe we can follow through. If not, well, then we have to pull back and you know how it goes. Yeah, and I think also one of the interesting things was actually the Washington Justice had more eliminations overall yeah. on that map than the San Francisco Shock, but they couldn't actually turn it into a win. Was very, very close, though, and Justice continues to look better on control than their other map types. Well, especially if you have a point like Village where it's just every team fight, one of the teams, you know, beats the other and just goes back and forth, back and forth. In the end, it's kind of like a pendulum and whoever has the pendulum happen to swing their direction. When 100% comes up, you're probably going to have the ult advantage, and that's it. But let's move on. It's Nimbani. It's our hybrid map. It's going to be San Francisco Shock on the attack. First off, trying to extend their lead in this series over Washington Justice. Washington going for the Winston defense here, trying to build up that Primal Rage really fast as they go ahead. There's the stun on Dianus, but the Zarya shield saves him from taking too much. So that's something. Yeah, but I mean, you already lost the high ground. I mean, this is the issue with the Winston defense, is once the Reinhardt's on the point, you're gonna have a lot of trouble. Sure enough, another stun on Giannis this time, and he's in big trouble, sub 100 health. Meanwhile, Guido goes down a little bit earlier, and guys, that's pretty much gonna be point A. Not that, much you can do if you're Justice after that. That's not how you play a Winston 3-3 defense on Numbani. You have to slow them down as much yeah. as you possibly can and use the mobility to your advantage to separate players. You can't let them basically get onto the high ground for free and then drop onto the point for free because you just can't retake the point easily at that stage. When you watch Giannis play on Washington Justice, I feel like you're seeing the same thing you saw when he was playing for NYXL last year, and they played him on hybrid map pretty often, actually, where he would have this habit of just going too far forward. And that defense just now went back up on the high ground when his team wasn't ready to keep him alive and kind of gave that one over. So old habits die hard, as they say. And Washington certainly dying hard as a team on that point. We'll see if they can defend here. There's oh, the no. to grab in. That's going to catch a lot of people, and that's going to be another one-sided fight in favor of the shock. I, they just didn't expect the grab to come in from that side. I you have to be expecting Ooh. this at this point. Sinatra will do wacky things. He will go on solo flanks yeah. when he has grab and try and find a strange angle to wipe you on. And it's extra bad at that point because you're already, if, if he grabs you from behind, you are exposed to a highly charged Zarya and you're smashed between him and Super on the front side. So there's not really a good answer. Pretty much the hammer in the anvil. That's going to be point B already. Washington doesn't even get back to the point in time to defend it. Yep. We'll just, we'll down. Just call it Why not? Point, point free, Doa. Point free. Hey, and the tanks are dead. That's icing on the cake for San Francisco. And it's a big cake of death for Washington Justice. And that cake is no lie, Monty. That's real cake. <laughs> the cake is not a lie yeah. for Shock fans. Justice here also still working up to their some of their first ults in this map. What do you know? Washington Justice, they will have, you know, theoretically five out of six ultimates ready to go for this fight. But they've been beaten back every single time. Can they finally get some stability here? Otherwise, this is going to be one of the fastest Nambani rounds we've ever seen. Justice needs to win this right now. Yeah, they gotta win this team fight. We are gonna be in for an ult apocalypse. Here we go. Yep, that's right. Rally time for both sides. There's grab number one. There's the self destruct. Grab number two. Self destruct number two. Oh! That one's the big one though. In shock. They are gonna complete this thing fast. This is insane. They will get it done with 4.52 left on the clock. That has got to be one of the fastest times we've ever seen on Nibani. Uh, yep, that, sure that is. might no, actually uh... be the fastest. <laughs> We're going to gonna have to double check with our statisticians. But man, it does it, not it get much quicker than that. It, it was. I'm it's pretty sure be, right? it was. I can't, I can't think of a time where anything ever came close to that. I think the largest time bank, according to our stats, is 448. We're double checking it right now. Let's, so uh, it might be, in fact, four seconds faster. Let's summon Captain Planet here. <laughs> Find out, yeah. Fire, Earth, Water. Your Wait. heart, Doa. No, I was leaving heart for you. Oh, no. Okay, heart. 
<laughs> heart was the worst power on that show, man. The heart power was just the power to not be attacked by animals. He couldn't control animals. He would just make them not attack him. Anyway, I digress. Very quick attack round for San Francisco Shock. You can tell they're having a great time. And man, that was just. That was brutal, man. I don't know. I don't know what else. What, what else you say there, right? I, I I actually don't know how it how any other attack could have been faster than that one. But. Yeah, I can't imagine. I can't imagine anything quicker than that. That that has to be. We're still waiting for confirmation. I, there was there was basically we'll guys there were basically like two fights in that whole map. Yeah. Shock's initial push. Three. And they intercepted them on the way, and they never touched B, the card on B. And then at the end, there was just one fight at the very end of the map. So I, right. I honestly don't know, because the payload basically didn't stop ever. It only stopped, like, once at the end of C, basically? <laughs> That's crazy. Pretty Holy impressive. Cow. Well, you know, Shock <laughs> did look sloppy in their last match, but they're right back into uh, dominant form. Well, Justice on the attack now. You gotta dig deep, you gotta ignore what just happened and try to catch Shoya Bin, which is exactly what they do. So our Gets initial, away, barely. Our, yeah, our initial figure was right, though. It was by four seconds, the okay. fastest Numbani time in Overwatch League history. Wow. It's gotta be one of the fastest times in Overwatch history. <laughs> For a hybrid map, it, it doesn't get much faster, you gotta say. No kidding. Well, we did see the Anna Sleep Dart come out on a Choya Bin at the beginning from Washington. Nice attempt to get a little bit of advantage in the attack, but luckily for Shock, Choya Bin was able to escape. They are going to draw the Winston defense themselves. Choya Bin and Super taking turns, putting some pressure on this high ground. They have taken it, so now they need to find a way to jump down onto Washington on the point here. Find a way to do it safely. It's one tick taken by Washington already. Super just trying to charge up that Primal Rage, and they're playing it so patiently here. Nice. Patiently or timidly, they gotta start doing something here. It's hard though, because this is where it's difficult as Winston to re-engage, gotta get on the support line. I mean, Zarya's shield, his own shield, but it's not enough. He's gonna get taken down early on, and Justice only needing to pop that Transcendence to clean up the rest of this fight. Moth down as well. I'm not so sure about the Winston defenses here today. They haven't been be good, quick... Noah. <laughs> uh, not, not this time, no. Yeah, Shock, Shock also letting Justice get onto the point way too fast. Yeah. on that defense, and that retake is, is quite the challenge. So not going to happen for the San Francisco Shock Justice. Play out that strategy pretty well. Now they are attempting to at least get some time left over here in the time bank. Shock gonna have a chance here to defend on B. Yeah, they've got a couple ultimates to do it with too. Washington wisely saving all of theirs except for the Transcendence. So we could be in for another ult heavy fight here. <laughs> Space. Oh, it's not for getting knocked down here. It's going to be the transcendence from Violet to try to keep him up as best he can. Choi been firing on top of the bus to keep the pressure on. And there we go. Self destruct coming in on top of the grab. Sound barrier was a bit early, and Yanus knocked up and taken down. And that shock cleaning this fight up here. Yeah, sound barrier early for the justice. And yep. also, they got the Reinhardt in there to start clearing out some of the shields with the hammer, left them in a much more vulnerable position once the self-destruct ended up coming on through. A lot of these timings are, are very intricate, but becoming very run-of-the-mill for teams where you need to get that sound barrier so it's still up when the self-destruct goes off, and you need to time that self-destruct to happen right after the grab ends so that you can get the knockup from the Lucios to displace people. So there's a lot of really intricate timing stuff that happens in a lot of these fights. Yeah. Yes, there is. It is, however, a lot harder to do it as the self-destructing team rather than the team that uses the beat because the beat animation is a lot shorter. It's like two seconds shorter than a diva fuse. There you go. Oh, uh, self-destruct. Speaking of that, super bouncer on, but he keeps shot. Oh, that's a nice shatter in response. But Washington there with Guido's transcendence to keep everybody up. Looked like a dangerous moment for the justice, but. They are okay for the moment. Yanu's very low, though, and oh, man, he went ahead. And look at that Sinatra on the high ground. Just able to free fire into the rest of Justice. Nobody is going to be able to stop him there. It's another one of those Sinatra flanks, man. You have to be so yeah, careful of those. He was looking for a Graviton opportunity, but he's not even going to have to use it on that no. attack. 100 charge. He can just do tons of damage. It's going to be the cleanup again from Shock. And three minutes now for Washington Justice.
San Francisco really does a good job of taking advantage of the 3-3 chaos of fights to secretly maneuver Sinatra into weird places where you're not actually going to be blocking a lot of his damage. And oftentimes, the rest of his team will retreat. So you think you've got some sort of edge. In fact, they retreated there during the transcendence. But at the same time, they're maneuvering Sinatra into a high ground position that deals a ton of damage after your support uh, ults go down. There you go. Justin's trying to take the high ground. Oh, there's a charge. All right. Reinhardt taking the other Reinhardt out of the party, but Giannis not able to stay alive. Kind of put himself right <laughs> in the shock team there. Oh, it's rough. You hate to see it. And the shatter for good measure. You didn't even really need that earth shatter there, but that's you wanted to do it anyway. Why I, not? Giannis tried to charge, but all Sinatra did was bubble super and then turn around and just sit on him with a beam so he couldn't well, yeah. swing. He had to keep his shield up and Super just burst him down. Uh, uh, it's really difficult. Like, you got to pay attention to Sinatra right here, and you can't go too deep. Well, Yanus basically just, like, transplanted himself right into the middle of the Shock roster. Sinatra? You don't want to be there. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Did I'm that... not sure. Sinatra was standing there taking a whole bunch of damage at the start of that fight, so that was a little weird. All right, well, we'll see what the issue is. Hopefully, we'll get that fixed pretty soon. I'm trying to kind of move so I can see. Oh, look. <laughs> Right there, perhaps. That is where the action is happening. It looked like right the positioning there. was a little wacky, so yeah. I'm not sure what was happening. The Sinatra was standing right at the front, like right in front of the advancing DC players. So. That's not a flank. That's not how you it's not. right there, it, yeah. You know, but you can never tell with Sinatra <laughs> whether that's intentional or not. True. So. <laughs> Looks like it is an issue with uh, Sinatra's computer. Let's see if we can get that fixed pretty soon here. A rare image of Sinatra without his headphones on. Wow. <laughs> how about what that? What a treat. Yeah. I like his hair this season. Yeah, it's nice. It seems so. There you go. It needs a, a center part bowl cut, in my opinion, though. That's, <laughs> that's a true Overwatch League haircut right there, yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, Dogman still hasn't delivered. I'm just saying. I, yeah, that's, I, you know, I saw his excuse. Dogman's like, oh, no, my hair's too short right now, guys. Sorry, I can't do the bowl cut. I'm like, that's not true, Dogman. You can just shave your hair down to the scalp in the shape of a bowl. You can definitely do that. You know, it, in a way, though, I'm glad that he's committing to it. I'm sure he's hoping people forget. I I, will, I never forget, Dogman. I never. Oh, we won't. We won't I let never him forget. forget. No. Okay. So getting that boy. You might be Dogman, but that's Elephant Man right there. Like, <laughs> not like the Elephant Man from like the wow, movie or anything. Brutal. <laughs> I mean, Thanks, it, it is memory. Thank he's you. very Thank good at remembering. Your, Thank you for your lovely commentary on my appearance. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Elephant Man. Thank you so much. Anyway, we don't forget. And I appreciate the commitment, though, so he thinks it'll look worse, but secretly he's hoping people forget. Yeah. Well, that got derailed. <laughs> you get the idea. <laughs> Keyboard issue it is fixed now for what and we actually, have Actually, they let Sinatra jump backwards to the rest of the team, so good sportsmanship there from DC, recognizing yeah. that he was, in fact, not supposed to be standing there. Indeed. Honorable moves from Washington Justice. We expect no less. Now they have to try to push through, though. That payload still has not made it to the end of B, and there's only a minute 30 left on the clock. And again, they need to get this done fast if they want to have any chance of contesting the time bank from San Francisco Shock. Oh, big nice shatter. shatter. Comes in on Rasko Choyabin, but luckily Violet there with the transcendence. Now the grab again from Justice. Here comes the combo. And no kills out of that one except for Super. He does go down, but Giannis in response, caught by Choyabin self-destruct. Yeah, it clipped through Super's shield, so he actually ended up dying even though he had the shield up. The fight yep. continues here, and no ultimates left. Uh, it's a 5v5 Sinatra in a lot of trouble, though. So low, can he keep himself alive? He does, Rascal gets in there. A lot of healing done by that Inspire, but it will be Washington taking point B anyway. They got enough distance to get it done. They did, and now 2 minutes, 14 seconds on the clock for the Justice. They're going to come in with a rally matched by the rally of Rascal. So they win a pretty even fight there off right. of Super's early elimination in the conflict. So if Justice can get this done with a minute left, that's still not a bad time on Nimbani, but well, in most cases it would be a great time. In this case, it's a little bit rough, but they've got a shot at least. Sinatra, less room to flank on this point here. Here comes a rally. Graviton Surge just tossed in there by Sinatra. No kills out of that one. Kind of a pretty aggressive grab that they weren't really ready for. And now they've got a very low number. They have to pop the Transcendence to keep Shock alive. Justice, meanwhile, still rolling forward here. Yeah, they've been forcing ults out as well. So Washington looking like they have a strong opportunity now to finish the map. Yeah, getting to regroup a little bit. Minute 20 on the clock. One more fight. If they can win this one, they will at least complete it. 
Janus looking for that great Earth Shatter moment. Oh, they're gonna try to go for a little bit of a rotation here. Got Sinatra. Yeah, all right. Sinatra caught up in the grab. Sound barrier for Shock a little bit late to save their Zarya. Ooh, that blocked a lot of it, but not all of it. Rascal very low, and they're gonna finish him off. Yanu's getting a couple stuns with that Earth Shatter. Yes. And now, maybe, maybe with Sinatra coming back, he can pair that grab that he's about to get with everything else to push back Justice. Looks like they will retreat anyway. I think Justice is smart. When they see Sinatra coming back, they realize that he has the Graviton Surge. He should, but they yeah. don't want to supercharge him or give him an opportunity. Now they've actually come back. They have a transcendence here to try and make this final push. Shock has the ultimates to make this work. They've got the economic advantage right now. Sinatra just waiting. You cannot have that grab eat. It's vital. All right. Go for it. Show you Ben. Pops the self-destruct. Nothing out of that one. Decides to do it early to try to force Washington away from the point. Get people to scatter a little bit here. There's the grab finally right on the cart. He's got a lot of charge now. Can they get the damage done? Not quite. Giannis comes in with the Earth Shatter, but Violet right there with the Transcendence to counter. Corey. The prevented. Corey getting a little bit low as well. Now Sansom getting D-Mech, but he's got the self-destruct. Can they get anybody with it? They get super. The Zarya shield ends at the wrong time for the tank. And now the sound barrier for Shock as they try to hold on. If they can buy enough time for the Reinhardt to come back, they've got a chance. Washington looking okay though. Guido needs to be careful. Ooh, he nearly got chased away by Moth there. Rascal with the rally, giving Shock that extra armor, and now they've got the grab again. Violet does finish off Fozix, and with Violet's triple kill there, that might be all it takes. It will be, and San Francisco Shock will go up 2-0 in this series. And that's an impressive win. Fastest ever time on Doombani in Overwatch League history from the San Francisco Shock to propel them to a 2-0 lead at the break. One-sided series so far. We'll see if Justice can bring it back after halftime. We'll see you then. The Overwatch League is brought to you by T-Mobile. High ground or low ground, T-Mobile has you covered. The Justice are still searching for their first win in the Overwatch League, and they've got some work to do down 2-0 to the shot at the half. 
Welcome back, everybody, to our halftime show. Malik here with Zoe and Bren. Uh, the justice, the struggles continue for these guys. Early on, it looked like they were gaining a little ground, but uh, then again, they just kind of started slipping again. Yeah, I think that was poor choice of words, though, as well, Malik, gaining a little <laughs> ground, because it seems to be a, a recurring theme with, with Washington Justice, you know? They uh, they seem to misplace the W and S key, sometimes walking backwards <laughs> a little bit too much. A, a lot of walking, they're moonwalking dang near, pretty much. <laughs> all right, but you know what, guys? Uh, I want some knowledge, so, uh, so you mind hitting me up with some insights powered by Intel? That is true. Reinforce hooked us up with a great clip which will uh, display and tell the story of uh, how to uh, manage your ultimates and control space. So let's take a look. We are on Sanctum on Nepal. We see that they have currently control of the point and they have both their support ultimates ready. Now, Shock is coming in to take the fight and regain this point. Let's see if they can get it done. They're coming in with a pincer move as we have the Winston jumping in from the left side and Shock is pushing them into the corner and everything looks like a big brawl. The everything is split and we see that during this brawl, Violet is getting his transcendence up. He's currently on 95%, whereas on this side, we see that the Washington Justice are actually using their ultimates in that fight, in that brawl, way off of the point, just because they can. <laughs> Let's see how this is gonna pan out. Right, so Otto just doesn't want to play anymore. He's just jumping down anyway. Oh. Now everyone is just like going down. Meanwhile, Violet is still holding on to his ultimate. Now, the San Francisco Shock are moving on to the point, uh, dropping down the barrier from the Winston. And now we're seeing on this side that there is no ultimates ready anymore. So there is absolutely nothing the Washington Justice have to defend that point and actually take the fight against the San Francisco Shock, which have now transitioned onto the point. And well, what do they have? They have the transcendence which they didn't use in the brawl up in the corner where the uh, Washington judges just gave them space and everything for free. So that was a prime ultimate, uh, a prime example of what we saw and how uh, Justice kind of just brawled out their alts and gave space because they can. I mean, we saw this literally the entire series long. I think this is a recurring problem for Washington Justice. You hit the nail on the head. It's the misuse of support ultimates or just ultimates in general. They're really struggling with, with trying to find their win conditions in the fight because of it. So, yeah. <laughs> Right, right. Uh, yeah. well, well done, Zoe. Yeah. yeah. Well, well done, Zoe. The importance of alt management, it can never be understated. Well, let's go ahead and jump into Nubani. Uh, another dominant performance for the San Francisco Shock. A lot more of that mismanaging of positioning and ultimates. Yeah, in general, <laughs> again, this was, this. Uh, is there, there's no kind way to say this. This was a stomp on the one side from San Francisco Shock. But honestly, I, I'm pleased to see that San Francisco Shock are not showing disrespect to Washington Justice. They're right. going all out. This yes. is something that, <laughs> Some teams, they, you know, they take their foot off the gas a little bit and they like to just kind of let their hair down, get a bit more loose when it comes to playing the game. San Francisco Shock, I think they've learned their lesson from the Hunjo Spark game. Underestimating your opponents is definitely a no-go at this point in the Overwatch League. Again, yep. there's a reason that all these teams are in the league. <laughs> exactly, and you never want to slip up. We've seen some of the lowest ranked teams taking maps off of some of the highest ranked teams yep. just because they didn't respect them or just, uh, you know, slipped a little bit. But San Francisco Shock has been asserting dominance. They have been using and stack their alls really, really well. It was a lot of great co uh, coordination from their side. So overall, really well played. Very clean from the San Francisco Shock. You want to talk about clean. Uh, the San Francisco Shock's first attack actually was record-breaking. Uh, they currently hold the fastest attack time on Nubani for that entire first and second point. Yep. Let's look at our completion board right here. As you can see, the Shock... They have jumped the Houston Outlaws against the Shanghai Dragons last year, and they sit atop the pack right now. Just breaking right? records all over the place. Breaking but records. Th honestly, this is what I, I... I expected this from the Shock. I wanted to see the, the strong, the dominant Shock, the one that we were claiming to be a top three team yes. in the league. You know, Washington Justice, they're not looking too hot right now. So I was... You know, this, this is good to see, at least. I will say that Shock are taking it seriously. There's no disrespect here. They're not taking it loosely. They're, they're really showing their opponents respect in the kindest way that you can by steamrolling them. <laughs> All right, so there are a ton of things we could probably say that Washington can do to, you know, turn this match around. Yep. What would you rank as the highest, most important thing for them to do going back into the second half? The most clear issue for me personally yeah. that I've seen from the Washington Justice is that their engages and their disengages are off. They, they seem to not know their timings of when they should be engaging. What seems to me, it looks like it might be a calling issue. Like right. this is uh, t like textbook calling issues. The Zarya bubbles. Exactly, the Zarya bubbles are off. It, it, it's the speed boost engages are sometimes right. off as well. Yeah. They don't really know how to work around a lot of their cooldowns. So that's the biggest issue I think that they need to fix up. Right, right. Anything you want to add, Zoe? 
Good. Not really, I no, think. No. Yeah, I <laughs> think you said that one. Pretty, pretty, pretty much, much said it said. All right, well, the San Francisco Shock are up 2-0. Can Washington get back into this game? We'll find out in just a bit. They don't just play for a team. They play for every fan, every rival, every moment, every match. And when everyone watching expects the best, they perform with the best. Welcome back to the Overwatch League. San Francisco Shock up 2-0 over Washington Justice right now after that blazing fast take on Nambani. To remind you again, that was the fastest we have ever seen a team take Nambani on attack. That's crazy. It was a spanking, though. It was. It was a, it was a beat down, to be sure. So Justice, obviously, with a, uh, a you know big sort of mountain to climb if they want to try to come back in this series. They're looking pretty outclassed across the board right now. But, you know, going into this one, Shock's certainly looking like the stronger team. So at this point in the Overwatch League, you know, not too surprising, I suppose. I mean, especially if you consider Shock being weak on control and Justice typically that right. being their best map type from the very few games we've seen this season. If Justice weren't able to win on control, it seems very unlikely that they're going to be able to take another map in this series. I mean, when you see some of the weaker teams in the league, and this was true last year as well, oftentimes as we look at Anubis for our next map, oftentimes control was the map these weaker teams won the most on because that's the map where there's the most chaos, right? Where you yep. just get in and brawl, the you know cohesion isn't as strong or necessary in a lot of cases. There's a substitution on the San Francisco Shock side. It's going to be Nevix subbing in for Choyobin. He's been playing on most of their assault maps yeah, why not? this season. That has been a pretty common substitution, running Nevix after halftime and Choyobin before halftime. That's right. Here we go. It's going to be Temple of Anubisar assault map. San Francisco Shock on the attack. Let's see if they can do this one quick, too. Going left. All right, it's like everybody positioning here from Fozix. Okay, he's up top right now, just seeing if he can find an angle. He's not going to have that opportunity. Uh, he wants to come down behind the tank and knock Super into the team. Looks like that's exactly what he did, but 
Shock manages to keep their tanks alive. That was the moment that Justice were waiting for, and they couldn't quite seal the deal. Sansa nearly getting d mech there, but that's a pretty easy first push here for the Shock through, through the hardest part yep. of Anubis, where you take control of that high ground and then slow push onto the point. Uh, true enough. And now it's Justice having to be the aggressors again here. As Shock have taken the point. 92% for Sinatra. He's built that grab so fast. Holy cow, he's got the grab already. He's gonna go for it. They're gonna throw it onto Justice, trying to finish this one out fast. The charge comes in onto Otto. Kind of counters Guido's transcendence as he's not gonna be able to save his team from the pin damage. Grab now onto Shock here. It's gonna be Giannis trying to throw in the Earth Shatter, but not getting anything out of it. And that's gonna be Shock taking a really quick point A. That sure is going to be fast, Doha Sinatra, with the quick grab, thanks to the push through and then the poke. Washington Justice has to retake. Sinatra realizes that Sansam is on the high ground on the opposite side of the point, so he can't stop that Graviton Surge from coming through. Good combo between right. him and Super to get the charge and the elimination onto Otto for the first elim of the team fight. Sinatra nearly up to another grab already, scary. whereas Corey a long way away That's yet. That's really yeah. scary. That's what he does, man. They're going to have the combos too pretty soon. That's going to be a big... We just walked past Giannis. Giannis steps up. Super just walks past him and drops a big shatter. Luckily, the sound barrier was there for Washington, but it's not going to be enough. Choyo bin self-destruct is just kind of victory fireworks at the end of that fight. And Shock, they might actually do it and take this thing pretty pretty fast look at that 557 Two minutes, three seconds 557 don't tell me we just saw another record set don't tell me they just did it again <laughs> It's, it's number not six, Stella. It's number six. It's not possible. The first, the thing about it on Assault is that it's it's unlikely you're going to get a super fast time just because of how long the, the grind was on that first point, even sure. though the second point was very fast. So 557, 557. certainly Man. a sufficient time bank, you, you must <laughs> admit. Yeah, understatement of the year right there. <laughs> super looks like he's having a blast right now. Uh, I would be too if I was <laughs> crushing my opponent's way he was. <laughs> It's like, look, bet the graphics department can't be mean to me now. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Super bad, I'll show them. <laughs> Take that, Zoe. <laughs> uh, well, Shock, obviously, uh, pretty much top of the world right now as they get ready to go on defense against Washington Justice and a lot of sullen faces over on the Washington bench. Or not the bench, the, uh, the desk. The long extended desk that they are playing the game on. Uh, I think if you're a Shock fan, this is really encouraging because of how badly they played in their last match against the Spark. Like, yes, they won, but you never want to see a win like that, really. Sure. And this time, the Shock looked look more like the Shock we've seen for most of this season, just yeah, crisp, so. dominant. I mean, Spark can be one of those teams, too, where they can, like, really sow chaos, but they've got, you know, the, the individual talent to really back it up, right? We've got some players that you really need to be afraid of. Sure, I don't think that dismisses like the Shock's Hollywood attack though, because that was well, yeah, that I was just sad, and the Shock had <laughs> complete control over that. But anyway, fair enough. Sad Shock is not here. Happy Shock is here today. That's right. And now Justice trying to run into Shock on their attack. We'll see what they can do. Everybody rotating left, going very fast here, wasting no time. Will they just try to rely on straight up aggression? Mop. You can see the Lucio Apply. battle in the window. That's right, Fozix did get knocked down here. Fozix really, really oh. low. Can they finish him off? Ooh, now it's going to be Janus on the verge of being taken out, and they will separate him and finish him off. Super gets healed up in the end. And that was Janus just kind of juggled up against the wall, and Shock with an easy kill there against Sinatra with a silly amount of charge on the Zarya. Nice little stall on the Cory at the end there, taking a couple extra seconds before finishing him. <laughs> Not just want some extra right clicks of charge there for his ultimate before not, retreating man? to join the rest of the Shock roster. Yep. I mean, you look at the ult percentages for Shock, like definitely quite a bit higher across the board. Violet going to be getting his transcendence a lot sooner, so Justice knows this. They're either going to have to poke for a while and build some of their own ultimates, or they're just going to have to run in and try to force them out of Shock. Let's see what they got. Keto down already, Violet with a right click to get that headshot to finish him off. And how do you get back right now? This is just gonna be a slow push by the Shock. They want this to take as long as possible. Yep, well, they're gonna grind through a few members anyway here, but that's the thing is, the last person you want to die first on your newest uh, attack is your Zenyatta. A stagger too, oh boy. That Zenyatta's never gonna be able to rejoin the team, and Sansa, yeah, just leave him, man. 
Just let him languish without his mech. You can't. This isn't one of those maps, maps where you can just jump off. <laughs> that is brutal. I've used the word brutal a lot in this series. I mean, Shock has won two fights, and like they've got six ultimates on board right now. Justice still working up to that Earth Shatter, but they're going to be in a similar circumstance. This, I think, is. Uh, Justice has a couple of pushes here. If they can force some ults out of this push, then they might be able to muscle their way through with a six ult push after that. Under two minutes already in the time bank, though. Need to make something happen. Sounds him over the top. Oh, that charge just took Janus right through the middle of everything. He's on the low ground. He's now with his team. Auto down. That was a very bold charge from Janus. We'll put it that way, but all it did was put himself in the uh -oh. exact wrong position. Snatch was fine, don't worry about it. There's another stagger for you. That was the uh oh, is Satom yeah. getting all of his damage right here. Defensive <laughs> Come matrix. Back, coward! <laughs> Satom. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I mean, they didn't, Washington Justice to their credit, did not commit any ults to that after the shatter came down. So, had some discipline not to get an itchy trigger finger with some support ultimates. All right, six ultimates now for Washington Justice. Here's where you do it. This is where you get the fight that you take point A. Corey coming in, under a minute left for Justice. Otherwise, this is gonna be another very quick map. There's the grab, he just drops it down in front of the team. They're gonna pop up Sansom in the self-destruct. Self-destruct sent in for shock as well. No kill, nice no shatter. Oh, big shatter from Janus. And that sound barrier uh, kind of wearing off, that's gonna lead to the kill on the super. And so Justice in the end, they have the go-ahead kill to try to take this point. Shock trying to delay. They can still eat more time off this time bank if they choose, but... Uh, they've got to they 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 group up. Nevix got all the way outside the point, actually. He's trying to rejoin the rest of his teammates right now. Yeah. And they're going to come in right at the end of this again. Zarya Shield and Shoya Bin to kind of lead the charge here. Rascal getting a little bit low. Kido's going to charge forward onto him. Super back in action again. Now he's got the Earth Shatter. you got to watch out! Earth Shatter comes in from Kido again, or from Super, rather, again. And Shock turn it around. They delayed long enough for their Reinhardt to get back and super delivered. And that's it. That's Temple of Anubis, guys. It's over. That's a series, too. Shock is going to take three maps in the road. That's the series. Justice just shocked there. No pun intended. And we've got one more map to go. But this is probably going to go down as one of the most one-sided series of stage one. Map four coming up. The Overwatch League is powered by Intel. Game, record, stream without compromise on Intel Core i7. And by Omen by HP, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League.
Shock with three maps in a row, and it's selling faces across the board on the Washington Justice side of things. It's been a rough season for these guys. They came into this series 0-3, and they're going to leave this one 0-4. And, and what can you do? What can, can you, you do, I mean, it's, it's, I'm it's, it's really hard. What can you do? I mean, the, the bright side is they can't lose as many games as the Shanghai Dragons did last season. So that they've got that true. going for them. And, I, that you know, true. they have a shot here, at least, against the Florida Mayhem. They're, that is potentially a winnable match for them. I'd say so. Yeah, I think, like, it's hard because... In some ways, I want to say that I think this meta is actually good for them, as harsh as that sounds, uh, because if we move into a meta game that is more about individual playmaking, I, I don't know how they're going to deal with that. Well, th you put Guido back on DPS. All right, that's that's what you do. It's uh, going to be tough. All right, Choya Ben back in for Nevix, as we've seen a lot of series from the Shock. But where's Baby Bay? That's what I'm wondering. I was hoping Baby where's Bay would come Baby into Bay? this match, but... I know uh, Monty was was just yelling to the heavens, put Baby Bay in you cards! I was, I was actually. But I wanted them to do it because it's a Widow map, and, and Baby yeah. Bay's such a mechanically skilled player. It would be really fun to see him on this map. We, we need more from him this season than just selfies. <laughs> he did a lot last season, actually. I know. He shot a lot of tanks. No, I'm saying, like, this season has been just selfies. Last season was selfies and a lot of great players. Here fair enough, we're, fair enough. We're going to Route 66, Rahim! That's right. Whip crack, and it's time for San Francisco Shock to go on the attack again. Another map, another potential record. Let's see what they can do. It's going to be the 3-3 again from both teams, uh, Reinhardt based, as usual. All right, so quick push here onto the payload, and oh, Violet. Behind you. Ooh, <laughs> Violet's Good. right behind you. All right, uh, Super getting a little bit low here. They gotta watch out. Nice boop. Whoa! That killed Fozix. Yeah, he tried to wall right his way out of there. Didn't exactly work out. And that's gonna be shock just steamrolling over Washington Justice yet again. And they kept pushing the payload too, though, while that entire fight was going on. So they got some decent distance out of it. Yeah. As they head around this first bend. Well, as soon as the aggression came in, Justice just started falling back and then people get split up. You leave Moth with an easy opportunity to boop a couple people off and. Now look it's at Moth rough. up here too. Watch Moth. He's gonna try and get a boop on. Nope. Well, this thinks is... better of it. There was a uh, there was a Zarya bubble on Giannis, so didn't have an opportunity. This is the map where the Lucios can just go oh. sky high and be <laughs> kind of running around cliffhanger style, way way up there. He's bopping him off the high ground though. Yeah, you oftentimes don't see the Lucios in these views because they're way way up on the side of the cliff. All right, super. On that high ground, you can stop the payload here. He's going to go ahead and jump down anyway. I mean, the payload really hasn't been stopped at all, though. Huh? Uh, not too much, yeah. Giannis and Fozix down already. I mean, the fight over before it really begins. They're going to throw in Sinatra's grab just for kicks. But that's going to be point A, taken by Shock. Uh, payload basically moving the entire time yeah, through you... both of the fights right there because the Justice never got positioned to stop it for very long. So they lost control over that high ground, so they couldn't stall oh, it from oh, right into the plant. The safety of the top of Big Earls, where we mostly see it. I hate it when I run into a Yuka plant. I'm a plant. Don't notice me. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to go for that sneaky shatter, but uh, Washington just running right past. They're going to get aggressive. Going on the side here. First shot. Oh, he's going to get a couple of supports here. Giannis down already. That's a charge going through. Doesn't even matter. Without the Reinhardt, there's not going to be much that Washington can do here. Oh, goodbye. Well, All right. they, slowed down, they slowed down the payload they for about 30 seconds. They did stop the payload for a moment. Yeah, that is true. Progress. One step at a time, though. One step yeah. at a time. There you go. Well. They got six ults, so there's a possibility that they can come out of these doors right now, should they not be stopped on the entrance. And there's no grav to, to halt them inside of the choke point. Must Moth can make a mega play. Well, he got him on the low ground. He got a lot of people off there, actually. A lot of people on the low ground. And Sinatra with another grab, ready to go. Just hit, trying to build up a little bit more charge here. Rory tosses it in. Going to be the rally coming in now. Not just looking for this opportunity. They're just ignoring Sinatra. He is pumping damage into that back line. Dude, that's Zarya on the high ground, man. You got to watch out for this. That's what they do. Zarya's get on the high ground, and they just try to roast your Reinhardt shield. Or anyone they can't find. Oh, man. That knockdown. Corey taken out almost instantly. Here comes the grab. Sansa not able to block that. Self-destruct comes in. No kills out of that one, but hey, it's okay. 
because even though they lost Choya Bin after he self-destructed, it's still gonna be that payload rolling through the end to be four and a half minutes to take point C. That is ludicrous. I mean, I know what Washington Justice wanted to do there. They wanted to get out of line of sight of Sinatra Zarya and try and just push the fight into a six versus five. Sure. But it never really happened that way, and Sinatra was still pumping damage to them. You can't just let a 100-charge Zarya take the high ground on you like that. Not advisable. Moth does go down first. They find a big pick onto the Lucio. That is pretty important for Washington as they wade in here. Gonna be the transcendence from Violet as the aggression reaches fever pitch. Corey goes down despite the sound barrier from Washington Justice. Now the Earth Shatter comes in from Super, but Washington not really phased by that, but they lose Otto in the end. And now with a later sound barrier for San Francisco Shock, the reverse aggression can pass over Washington like a flood. <laughs> A like a blood. calming uh, wave. That's right. Well, not calming. It's anything but calming. <laughs> They're just resigned to their fate, though. I mean, here's the thing. You can get that elimination, but if you wrap around the side like that, they didn't stop the payload for very long. It kept moving through the choke point, yeah. and you have a faster respawn time if you're the shock. Uh, Corey, no. Justice, this is your fight. This is where you get to fight next to the America truck. Come on. Hello. This point was tailor-made for you to win. Privet. Dig deep. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh oh, the sneaky shot. Oh no. I don't see him. Oh, oh they got oh, block. Nice okay, shot. Honors. Yeah, he was ready. Oh no, super pays for it. It doesn't matter. Oh no. Hashtag letter slash number combination. <laughs> I mean, oh, no. They did check the corner. The unfortunate part is checking the corner cost them a chance to touch the payload <laughs> at the end. Yeah. 900 IQ super play right there. <laughs> I'll perma smiles pretty much across the board on San Francisco Shock. Yeah, three and, minutes uh, and nine seconds. Very good time bank for Route 66. Yeah, how about that? I don't think that's a record, but it's probably right up there. Uh, payload didn't stop for very long no. on this map overall. Yeah. Certainly a time you will be happy with if you are the San Francisco Shock, and certainly a match you're going to be happy I, with if you're the San Francisco Shock, because I think so. You came in here, you played your game, you played a tight game. He did. And Justice, again, this is obviously a really tough one for them, but, you know. It's, it's a pretty big disparity between these two teams. Shock, yeah. you know, one of, the, one of the very elite teams in this league, and the Justice still looking for that first win. It is rough. Attackers incoming well, in you think they'd clean up that uh, large train crash by now, but no. Well, I mean, nothing in, in Overwatch ever really gets cleaned up. There's all these, well, like, except disaster for, zones. Except for Nimbani, uh, Doomfist Gauntlet. Used to be in the thing you transported to the museum. Now it's just now it's just covered. We don't know what's in there. It could be anything. I mean, why are you even transporting it anymore? Because Doomfist got the gauntlet back, and now That's he's just because now you around. Gotta, now you got to transport something new. <laughs> but what is it? What is it? What's in there? What's in that payload? Come on, Blizzard, tell us. We want to know. I don't really care, I'll be honest. I, I want to know. Get, uh, don't listen to Monty. I want to know. <laughs> Tell me. Sinatra bouncing across like a bunny rabbit of death. Monty, Monty Python's rabbit only wishes it was deadly as Sinatra. Dude, Troy Ubin's back, though. Justice with a good start here in this team fight. Sinatra just roasting the Diva Mech. And and Sinatra's just standing up oh, there, yeah. roasting whoever has the Discord orb on him. I mean, the thing is, the payload hasn't really moved, and now Justice completely separated. Guido gets peeled off, and Sinatra finds an easy kill in the cave. Janus pushed away from his team, and, you know, Justice, in the end, they yep. did get enough kills to push this payload forward. Yep, well done. Isolating targets, calling bad. targets one by one there for the Washington Justice, so yep. they end up knocking Rascal off the cliff. Important d to start that fight onto Choi Hyobin, and Justice able to capitalize on it. No refunds. Here we go. Justice trying to take the high ground on top of Big Earls. Keep pushing that payload around there. It's going to be a quick grab from Shock. Corey down already. Charge comes through for Super. Not going to kill anybody, but it is going to kind of do more damage as he passes by. It's going to be Sinatra with the double melee kill in that fight. Uh-oh. Oh! oh, the humanity. Stagger kill laid onto the D.Va. Extending as much as you can. Obviously, you're going to use those barriers to make sure that she can't get the ult charge. Yeah. Let's get back into the mech. Sansam will re-mech. And look at that. The safety of spawn. The uh, attack on Route 666 from Shock right now was actually the second fast 
our second fastest one in just 2019, in just this season, in fact. <laughs> Crazy. All right, Optimistic Earth Shatter doesn't come up with a whole lot for Super. Now it's going to be the grab. They're going to toss in Sansom on top of that. Ooh, nice sound barrier at the very end. Shock not losing anybody just yet. Now, it wasn't optimistic. Moth, Moth actually didn't get the boop he was supposed to onto Yana's ah, there to I set see. up okay. the Earth Shatter, which is why Super just shattered into a shield. Wasn't supposed to go like that. And shock, the Shock actually end up having to invest a couple of extra ultimates just to save their positioning. So this is good for the Justice. Oh, they've nearly got Sinatra's grab again, and he's pretty charged up here. Just waiting for that. He's got the grab now. Could help them sustain at the end of point A again here. We'll see a lot of good grab opportunities on this point. We can't really defend against too much. And sound barrier for justice preemptively. And as soon as that's over, I think we're going to see the grab. Yeah, as it wears out, but super down already. Choyabin needs a good self to shark. Doesn't really get it, but he does get the kills in the end. Then they demex Samson with that as well. So not done yet. Here comes Violet with the transcendence to try to keep this fight going for the shock. It's going to be the rally now. Ooh, self to, or uh, Earth Shatter rather. Come in for Yanus. Choyabin trying to push justice away. Point eight still not taken, and they've got Washington shoved back. Fozzix down, there goes Giannis, and Shock managed to hold it at the end of point A. Yep, pushing through. I mean, they're able to sustain their way through that point by having the, the transcendence ready to go there. They're gonna try a little bit of spawn camping. They decide not to go after Corey in the end, just giving him a wave goodbye from Choi Hyobin. 30 seconds left, this is gonna be the last push for the Justice. They'll have, most likely, that Graviton Surge, but will they have enough Zarya Charge to pair with it? And especially when Sinatra's nearly got his and he's already yeah. charged up. That's the question. Here we go. Oh, oh nice. Violet! Whew, they just picked him out of the sky there, Corey. Some great tracking on that Zarya. It's gonna be the 5v6, he's gonna drop the grab onto the wall, and that's gonna be a bunch of kills coming in for Justice, so they are not done yet. They're going to be able to get point A. It was close. Shock, though, going to come into B with a lot of ultimates. But for now, Washington Justice keeps it rolling. You know, Violet, uh, this is uh, a little bit of shades of Violet from the series that they played against the Titans, his first match. Yeah, Sometimes he can uh, position himself too aggressively and get picked off first in these fights. Well, in these kind of situations, sometimes you get a bit cocky, and, and uh, that's his, exactly what happened with Violet. Yeah. Corey had some nice aim there to take him out. Good decision making. Yeah, Washington isn't having a great uh, stage so far, but you got to keep in mind it's still a professional Overwatch team. You can't give them those opportunities. Corey learning at the, or rather, uh, Violet learning at the hard way there. Okay, that's just going to be a nicer shatter. Everybody get knocked down there. Giannis down early. Guido rolling out with the transcendence, but unable to keep his team from losing the fight. Super just kind of winning the mind games there. And look at Shock too, still. They have five ultimates available for the next minute and a half. And here comes the San Francisco spawn camp, the Sinatra special. Yep. Hello. Right, just grab everybody under big girls. Why not? Choya Bin in there. They get rid of the shield. And it's going to be two kills. Kido and Janus unable to leave. And man. Bong. Team kill. Didn't even to see, need to see anything there. And here's such a stall that they can have right now. Basically, they can just use their support ults one by one to continue to control this choke point. And right. uh, Justice, they're going to have very little time to actually get out here. You'll see Super playing very aggressively. Moth wants to boop somebody coming out of a doorway into the rest well, of the he's team. Gonna he's gonna get, yeah, he gets an opportunity. Gets onto Corey. Uh, pushes Yanus down to the high ground, too, but he had the Zarya shield, so they couldn't finish him off right away. Now it's going to be Violet with the Transcendence again. Moth with the slightly later sound barrier to counter Washington's. They're going to just be swinging away, and Super's in a lot of trouble. Goes down, but he takes Corey with him. Sansom gets the kill onto Violet, though, and Washington with a chance to break out here. Moth gets the heals just in the end, but there goes Rascal, so it will be Justice breaking through. I'm trying to get out right now. He's going to get a Graviton Surge, but Sinatra's not going to live through this situation. Uh, and it's not going to live long. And so the payload will move a bit, but it's going to be deep into overtime, even if the payload's not even stopped before the end of B. So Shock was still a fantastic opportunity to stall this one out. Justice needs to get ahead of this fight. That they do. They're trying to recollect now with Sinatra, taxiing him back from the spawn using the Lucio. Here we go. High ground for Shock. They're going to be able to jump right down onto this. We're into overtime already. That was a solo grab onto Corey. I think so, and it worked out. Moth finishes him off. 
There goes Super, though. But the Zarya down for Justice. That's going to be where the big problem is. Shock hesitating, though. What do they use? They're going to go ahead and use the Transcendence. After Choyo Bin. Oh, Giannis oh. with the self destruct. Now they're riding down. Sansom trying to stand tall on the payload. But now Shock are going to get their Reinhardt back. In just a moment, Super coming out of the gate right now, gets the armor from the rally. Yanu swapping over to the Hammond, but it's going to be all the members of Washington falling before they get to the end of point B, and that will be it. A clean 4-0 sweep for the San Francisco Shock. And that really puts the Shock into a much better situation when it comes to the stage playoffs. They are now 3-2, and two, recovering from their 1-2 and two starts where they had close losses to the Gladiators and the Vancouver Titans. Now they put themselves in a position where you know, winning one of their next two against the NYXL or against the Paris Eternal, which looks, especially yeah. against Paris, much more doable after the match earlier today. Right. And they may, may be a competitor for the Stage 1 title. Yep, that's right. This is the win that they needed to sort of give themselves the chance to get in the door for the playoffs. Now we'll look ahead to see what happens in those uh, games against, uh, like you said. Yeah, Excelsior Paris. 2, it, you know, they haven't faced an opponent like the San Francisco Shock yet. And I do think that sure. they're, you know, not to say that the Shock is going to win, I think it's going to be really, really close. Uh, but it, the, the XL have had an easier stage. Yeah. Do you feel like, at, by the same token, though, the Shock have kind of shown their hand and that we see a lot of these Sinatra flanks are relying on that a lot? I feel like that type of thing, the Sinatra flank specifically, isn't going to work as well against New York because they play so defensively anyway. Yeah, I think that. It's, it's hard to say because the Vancouver Titans came in very specifically with a game plan to isolate Sinatra, and sure. Sinatra still broke a record of damage on a map and almost won that series. So, you know, yeah. uh, it, it, I, right. I think the Titans did a good job of trying to limit him, and even then he was really dangerous. I think it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard for the, for the XL. Well, speaking of great players on San Francisco Shock, let's see who our Omen by HP MVP is, the player of the match. It's going to be Violet, that's right, rocking it on the Zenyatta. Really well-timed transcendences, of course. Never stop left-clicking is how you do the Zenyatta thing, and he just kind of rolled out there with all the transcendences you need at all the right times. And I gotta, I gotta say, like, if you look at this team today, it was a tough choice. That's to a pick. devastating pick, Oh, too. of course, when you get the Zenyatta early on the Anubis defense, that's always big, but a lot of players, I think, were deserving of the MVP this match, but Violet, the one who gets in the end? Yeah. And there was a lot of hype around Violet coming into the league in the offseason. Of For people who knew how good of a flex support player he could be, yeah. he's starting to show that. I do I do think he, he's a little over aggressive at times. He needs to <laughs> Clearly, dial it yeah. back um, because he doesn't die a lot, but sometimes his deaths are really <laughs> consequential. Well, you know, the funny thing is, I feel like what we see costs the most points in Overwatch is cockiness, right? Where you've got, a, you've got a great defense going, you're like, all right, one more push, we got this, and that's the one you always lose, right? Because that's the one. <laughs> but like Violet showed us in Route 66, that's the one you get ahead on and you get picked, so. We call it bumper brain. Yeah, bumper brain. <laughs> there you go. Let's take a look at Washington Justice remaining schedule, though, because they've still got a chance, I think, to pick up a win here. They've got Dynasty, Paris Eternal, and Florida Mayhem looking ahead here. Certainly, you can expect that the one against Florida Mayhem is going to be fairly close. And, you know, honestly, with Seoul Dynasty, the way they're kind of up and down each week, I feel like there's even potential for a win there. I mean, yeah, it, it, the Dynasty Maybe. have been a confusing <laughs> team, yeah. to be sure. Uh, so far at this stage, Mayhem, I, I think at least Mayhem has some interesting strats and set pieces on non-control maps in order to be able to take out the Justice. But sure we're looking a couple weeks into the future. Obviously, a lot can change during that time as these teams come together and make some some changes when it comes to their play styles. Now, we're still early in the season, so Justice fans shouldn't get too worried just yet. But guess what, guys? We've got one more match remaining here at the Overwatch League today. It's going to be the Shanghai Dragons taking on Dallas Fuel. That is going to be a good one. Do not go anywhere. Overwatch League will be right back. The Overwatch League is brought to you by T-Mobile. High ground or low ground, T-Mobile has you covered. 